Schweizer Ziele, Stern 69, aus denen setzen sich äh, die Bands dieser Jahre zusammen, äh, die natürlich auch dabei sind. Hallo, das ist New Church. Hi, guys. Hallo. Steve und Brian sind hier. Um, you were supposed to have split up too, right? We, we started that rumor, yeah. You started that rumor yourself? Yeah. yeah. Why would somebody do that? Well, uh, we had a, a record company that we were fighting with over the last four years mm -hmm. uh, because of their uh, lack of artistic, giving us artistic control, which we had on our first two albums. Uh, we also were unhappy with the manager who happened to own the record company. Oh God. And there was a band called Cramps who spent three years trying to get away from the same label and management and spent a lot of money and long dragged out court battles which they couldn't play at and also didn't succeed. So we pretended to be broken up and we got our releases and it cost us nothing except enough time to sit back and write some new songs. Great trick. Yeah, wow. easy. <laughs> easy. Also diese Gerüchte um die Auflösung dieser Band, die haben sie selber in der Welt gesetzt und zwar aus dem Grund, weil sie Schwierigkeiten hatten mit ihrer Plattenfirma. Sie meinten, diese Plattenfirma sei Mm -hmm. Und außerdem war ihr eigener Manager der Chef der Plattenfirma und das hat irgendwie, war nicht gut. Sie wollten davon weg, deshalb diese Auflösungsgerüchte, die sie selber in die Welt gesetzt haben, um da endlich wegzukommen. Am Beispiel der Cramps, einer befreundeten Band, die da drei Jahre dafür gebraucht hat, um durch irgendwelche Lawsuits und Gerichte zu gehen, haben sie es geschafft, auf diese Art und Weise so wegzukommen. Now you found a new record company and you're sort of... Uh We've been doing little bits with Perfect Beat, the German company. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh We're talking to record companies about when the first new album comes out, because they put out like, live albums mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, we're talking to everybody at the moment. Should be out so, you're, so you're open? Yeah, we're looking. We're looking, we're talking to people. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't want to rush into it, because the people that put out the new record, they've got to be like totally into it and push it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But they've got to be totally into it, and not these changing people, no, which no. you get at record companies all the time. They change all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? So you sign with one guy, And he leaves to go somewhere else and you're left with a bunch of idiots. You know? yeah. We want to make sure it's the right label. Yeah. And uh, we w we're in the position right now to choose who we want. Not like a lot of bands that sort right. of need to take the only deal they can find. And uh, we also want to make sure we have enough time to work out our new songs on the road, which uh, most bands get to do on their first album, but not later. So right. we want to make sure that it's the right company to for us. give back the full force of, of something. It's, it's like having the right drummer. Yeah. If you don't have the right drummer, right. the band's no good. And same right. with the label. We'll come back to the drum right away. I'll just get there across. Also, um, Sie suchen immer noch nach einer Plattenfirma. Sie haben Kontakt mit einer deutschen Firma, aber Sie sind weit offen für alles, was da auf Sie zukommen möchte oder möge. Sie suchen eine Plattenfirma, die wirklich hinter Ihnen steht und die nicht irgendwie dann, ja, wenn einer da gesigned hat, dann weggeht und sich nicht mehr um die Band kümmert. Sie wollen die Gelegenheit nutzen, die Sie zurzeit haben, also diesen sozusagen vertraglosen Raum, um neues Material zu schreiben, live auszuprobieren, um dann eben mit dem nötigen Karacho auf Platte zu gehen. Frage war auch nach dem Drummer. Der Drummer nämlich war früher ein Fan von Ihnen und ist jetzt, hat sich so langsam hochgearbeitet über Fahrer, über Brody zum Drummer. What about Danny Boy? He came to you as a fan, right? And now he's in the band. Can yeah. Tell yeah. us his He story. came to us and, and uh, he knew all of the old drum, drummer's moves, but played them a fucking million times. Sorry, I shouldn't say fucking. Well, well, a million I'll times better. Well. Can you say it again? I'll say beep. Okay. Beep. 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 Okay. Drum. <laughs> 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 and, and you just picked him and said you, you were a man? There, there's something funny about that. Uh, see, the, the gig we did in Zurich, Switzerland, is the one that Perfect Beat put out. Mm -hmm. and Perfect Beat, we should add, or, or was a big fan of ours, Dieter, and that's why we've released things through him. Uh, Danny happened to be in the support act in Zurich, Switzerland, mm -hmm. and I don't remember because that's one of the few nights I was kind of drunk after a game. Right. And uh, I usually don't do that. And uh, Danny said to me, do you know any bands in London looking for a new drummer? And uh, I says, well, when we throw Nicky out, you could be our drummer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Also, Nicky was the one who negotiated the Zurich Switzerland deal with Perfect Beat. Mm -hmm. That was his last uh, official capacity with us. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. uh, after that, he left the band and uh, we met Danny and he started playing with us. It sounded great and then he reminded me of that. So it's mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of sort of like fate, you know? Yeah, right. Das war während eines Konzerts in Zürich, in der Schweiz, als Nicky, der vorherige Drummer, gemeint hat, er müsste jetzt demnächst aufsteigen. Und Danny, der in einer Vorgruppe gespielt hatte, hatte Stiff angesprochen, ob er nicht eine Band in London wüsste, wo er Schlagzeug spielen könnte. 
Und Stiff hat daraufhin gesagt, ja, wenn Nick uns verlässt, dann kannst du gerne zu uns kommen. Tja, und so ist es dann auch geschehen. Well, guys, I thank you very much. I wish you all the best for the concert. Thank you. And, yeah. and uh, hopefully you get a nice and good record company. Yeah, well, hopefully. Obviously, we don't sign with no one if we can't find the right people. Okay. No compromise, no regrets. That's it.